plug and uncut. What is up, everybody? Unplugged Welcome back uncut. to Unplugged and Uncut. You're live with your boy, Unique. Let's get it. Uncut. I would like to have an open discussion about this Ryan Garcia situation. First, we got Cat Williams and now Ryan Garcia. Both have broken the internet. Whether you believe them or not, you can't deny that what they are saying has been powerful and had an impact. However, the Cat Williams comments and statements haven't had the backlash, in my opinion, that the Ryan Garcia statements have had. You've had people questioning Ryan's sanity, asking, do we need to get help? Is he on drugs? Is he telling the truth? I mean, he has made some interesting comments. Also, Ryan is really close to his next fight with Devin Haney. This is a big time fight for his career. So you think the timing of these statements is very interesting as well, which gets you to pose a few questions. With it being so close to his upcoming fight, is this a marketing ploy? Could it be a cry for help for real? Is he trying to pull out the fight? You've had Shakur Stevenson step up and say he's willing to step in and be the replacement if Ryan Garcia don't make this fight. But that goes back to the original question. Why now? Is this the right time for this? If what you're saying is true, are you going to pull an Alex Jones on us and show that evidence that you claim you have? Or are you really just going off of information that you've gathered and that you've seen just like a lot of other people have? So once again, whether you believe it or not, do you think this was the right time for these statements? Do you think he should be focusing on this fight, giving everything he has to this training camp so that way he can be in the best position to try to win this fight? This is a really big career legacy fight for Ryan Garcia. And you think you would want to have your mental focused on one thing. And this is a big subject to go into, especially at the time of a fight. Now let's get some perspective from the outside looking in. Oscar De La Hoya was asked questions about Ryan's mental health. He kind of glanced over the mental health questions and said something to the effect of, yeah, Ryan Garcia looks good. He's in great shape, isn't he? He's going to be ready to fight. He also described this fight as being a bloodbath. That's an interesting choice of words to use. But he said he's describing it this way because these two fighters are real familiar with each other and this would be their seventh fight. Their first in the pro, six coming in the amateurs. But he did describe it as going to be a bloodbath. So guys, what I really wanna know is how you feel about this situation. I really don't wanna get into everything that he said. It's been said enough. <laughs> I really wanna see how you guys feel and then if it's a more concerning feel for Ryan Garcia, maybe we can post this video in his timeline and that way he can see how the people feel about this situation. I don't know. I think it could be a cry for help. But I mean, if you're telling me he's doing this to generate more interest for his fight, I could see that too. I don't know, guys. I can't wait to hear what you think in this situation. Do you think what he's saying is real whether he experienced it or he's just relaying what he's learning now and finding out or do you think it's just another ploy to draw more attention to build his fame you never know guys i can't wait to hear how everyone feels about this in the comments a truly interesting could be a very concerning situation going on right now with ryan garcia but that's all i got I will be reading every comment on this one and your boy is out. Peace.